Hi, this will be a real quick one here. You ever had that situation where you uh, have an S3 bucket out there that was auto created by another process that you ran and when you go to delete it, it just won't delete? Um, here's one way to delete that bucket. In my case, I use Elastic Beanstalk to deploy some of, some of the applications up to the cloud in AWS and when I'm done, when I delete my Elastic Beanstalk application, I've noticed that Beanstalk leaves behind some artifacts. So one, one such artifact uh, actually is the only artifact I can see is the bucket name. So when I go in there, there's like nothing in the bucket itself. So if I try to delete the bucket, you click on that and you hit delete bucket and then you put the bucket name in the confirm box you paste it in there and then you say confirm and nothing happens so that's uh that's kind of a frustrating little thing here one way around it i've noticed is you can click on the bucket right there um, to get to the properties and when you get to the properties you can go to permissions on the bucket and then you can go to bucket policy and if you look at the policy editor through the JSON, you can see you've got these different policies. I noticed down here by default when Beanstalk creates a bucket, it says deny anyone to delete this bucket. So what I'm just gonna do is change this deny to an allow um, and go ahead and save it. And then I'm gonna just go back to the, uh, the bucket again. And let's go right here and delete the bucket. We'll try this again. And this time it deletes the bucket. So that's one way around it. Um, you know, there might be other ways around it, but uh, anyways, I hope this helps uh, getting rid of those pesky buckets from Beanstalk um, that you can't seem to delete even though the delete command seems to run uh, without any errors. So have a great one and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.